In this video, I'll show you how to create the F distribution table in Excel. We use the F distribution when we're testing the equality of the variances of two normally distributed populations. Applications of this include comparing the volatility of investment securities in different periods or against benchmarks. Each F distribution is described by two values of degrees of freedom, where one is referred to as the numerator and the other as the denominator. To create our F distribution table, we will use the F inverse right tailed function, which returns the inverse of the right tailed F probability distribution. This function consists of three parameters, the probability, the numerator degrees of freedom, and the denominator degrees of freedom. We've already added the different combinations of degrees of freedom as the table headings. The probability refers to the level of significance of the test in which the F statistic is used. For example, if we've specified a 5% level of significance, then we would use 0.025 as it's equally split between the left and the right tail. We will refer to the probability in cell H2. We type equals F dot INV dot RT. First input the probability followed by DF1 and then DF2. The next step will be to apply this function to all the remaining cells in our table. However, we can't simply drag the cell across and below, as we haven't yet added absolute references. Ignoring this would result in a bunch of incorrect results, as the function would not refer to the correct degrees of freedom. The first thing we'll want to do is to engulf the probability with dollar signs as we want Excel to always select this cell. We don't want it to be dynamic. For cell C5, we want the column to be dynamic and the row to be static. Therefore, we add a dollar sign in front of the row number only. In other words, if we drag this cell one to the right, we want it to refer to D instead of C Whereas if we move it one cell down, we want the row number to remain as row 5. For the horizontal heading, we'll do the opposite. We'll add a dollar sign before the column, as we want the column to be static, and we want the row number to be dynamic. So we won't add a dollar sign before the row number. Now that we've applied our references, We'll drag this cell to the right and down to apply the function to all cells within our table. So that's how you can create a right tailed F distribution table in Excel. To bring it to life, if you have two samples of 10 observations each, then your DF1 would be 9 and DF2 would be 9 as well. Let's also assume that you've specified a 5% level of significance, which means the probability will be half of this, which is 0.025. The critical right side F value would be 4.03, as this corresponds to nine degrees of freedom horizontally and vertically. If you want to find the critical left side value, then you would use the inverse probability therefore 0.975 instead of 0.025. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.